Well, this video is about how to get a free audit on your website. Um, the first thing you want to do is to go to www.aboutus.org. That's www.aboutus.org. And this page will come up. When you've done that, then type in your um, web address, which I've done here and I'll run the report. Here we go. Let's give it a second to load. Well, there we are. Now you see on mine here, there's my name on the top here. This is because uh, I actually am, I'm a member of this particular uh, site. And first thing you can see here, first page of Google, and you get to edit this. All you do is you click on the pencil and then you can edit that and put your own information in. Uh, also, it's worth writing a little bit about the company and what it does and things like that and why it's there. Um, and fill in the other details as well. Uh, company name, well, I don't have a company name, so I haven't put that there. Um, contact, I've got my contact details, my address here, and telephone number. And the, and the um, email address of course so let's have a look at the report as you can see titles and headings everything is green that means everything's perfect links and images everything green and search engine friendliness everything green so let's have a an actual look at this in fact I'll refresh the report it was last updated seven days ago so let's let's refresh it let's give it a second it's updating ready click to reload here we go see everything's still good it's all fine there but I'll show you what it oops here we are let's click there as you can see uh, this page has a title tag and the title tag is a good length you can learn more by these little links here they'll explain uh, everything to you but I don't want to go through it all now because it will take uh, too long then we've got the meta description. Uh, search engines of, often use a meta description of a web page to, de to describe it in the search results. Learn more again. Uh, meta description is good. It's between the right length, between 50 and 150 characters. And the meta description for this is first page of Google. Help for local businesses to get more sales and more customers, more profits and better prominent presence on the internet. So that's all good. Let's have a look at links and images. You do that by going over here and clicking on links and images. And there we are. These are all the links that I have going out of my site. These are for other people to use. The handy uh, links for them to click on and things like that. Images. Image description, also called alt text, text are the best way to describe images in search engines and to visitors using screen, screen readers learn more I'll have a little look at that for you help for visitors uh, people with impaired vision use screen readers to help them read websites if you provide descriptive alt text for your images on the site people using screen readers will know what the images is about and will get the same full understanding of your site that others do describing images on web page with alt text can help the page rank higher in search results if you include important relevant keywords do not be tempted to stuff irrelevant keywords in, into alt text just so a page will rank well for those words search engines can recognize this ploy for what it is and an attempt to gain results writing image descriptions this, this is how an image description looks in the um, in, in the uh, description of the page in the HTML description okay so everything was good there all of my images have descriptions so let's have a look at the next one search engine friendliness that's this one uh, robots text file can tell search engines to ignore part of the site again click more link there for you to find a bit more about Good, the site's robots text file is not blocking major search engines from crawling the homepage. Con I can 
find this one hard to say. Canon canonical uh, uh, URL. This website can live at www.firstpageofgoogle.com or firstpageofgoogle.com. It's best for your site's visibility to live at just one URL or web address. You'll want to create a 301 redirect to the URL you choose from the other URL. Learn more on here at good www.firstpageofgoogleworks and firstpageofgoogle.com redirects there permanently. Um, <coughs> so you can see everything is perfect on that particular site. Now to show you that this is not just a fluke, I'm going to put in a country guitar lesson. Three guitar. guitar dash lesson dot com. Let's see how this comes up. I'm not going to waste too much time on this one. But what I will say is that I basically I check all my competitors uh, to see how their websites are performing. It's a good way to know if you're taking anybody on to do this work for you, whether they're up to it or not. Because if they can't even get their own websites right, what chance have you got? And I tell you now that uh, in Tenerife, I've checked every single one of them and there's not one that actually comes up like this. Here we are again, visibility. Everything perfect, everything perfect. Um, I don't want to check a competitor or anybody else's on this video um, because really I don't want to get into trouble. But that doesn't stop you from doing it or indeed checking your own site and you will really want to check your own site. Um, web presence, this is something else. Let me show you. If, this tells you how many backlinks. Well, on Country Guitar, I've got 67 from Yahoo and 12 from uh, Alexia. Index pages 44 from Google, 114 indexed, and 26 from Bing. Uh, some of this information is not, um, the site's not that old actually, um, but it's ranking 11 million in the world, so it's, but it, uh, that's ov over all websites, so that's not bad actually. Um, last crawled on the February the 14th um, for Google, not available for Bing or, or Yahoo. Okay, and social media, I have a, a link in uh, Google Groups. I could possibly spend a bit of time and build a few more links there. But anyway, I hope you found that uh, useful and go ahead and check your own, uh, your own website and you see how that's performing in the search engines. Thank you for watching this short video.